my everyone welcome to 10 minute tuesday or as i might ne need to re rename it 12 minute tuesday because i always seem to run over a little bit and today i'm using a bundle that's actually in the annual catalog but they brought out a new stamp set in the occasions catalog which coordinates with it so i'll show you the one we're using tonight we are using varied vases this there it is and it's got a lovely coordinating punch which is here but in the occasions catalog they've brought out vibrant vases which is this one and it all coordinates with the same punch so if i were you because the new occasions catalog uh, sorry the annual catalog will be renewing in june and this will no longer be available as saving 10 percent so if I were you, I would get this bundle and save you ten percent, and then you can treat yourself to the one from the Occasions catalog as well, and get even more work from your punches. The other thing I'm going to use tonight, which is an absolute godsend, and I use it all the time, and realise that I haven't actually used it in a video, is my Stamparatus, Stamparatus, whatever you like to call it, because um, the stamp positioning platform which is what this is it is so handy with what i'm going to show you tonight as a quick way of using your punch so without any further ado because i tend to twaffle on too much and then it delays the proceedings i'm using this one is the highland heather version but as you can see the gingham papers from the occasions catalog i am going to use the grapefruit grove just to switch it up a little bit and my flowers are going to be flirty flamingo daffodil delight grapefruit grove and the green i'm using for the stems is going to be granny apple green so the first thing i'm going to do i'm just going to put the background piece on once again i've got a very very croaky voice i'm suffering badly with my asthma at the moment and i'm trying to keep up with my running and the two things don't like each other very much right there we go i'm just going to stick this on the card and then i'll put it to one side now what i know a lot of people struggle because of the way the punch works as you can see it punches out all of the vases at one at one time it's quite hard to line up without wasting paper so what i've done i cut myself a little bit of a template here it is can you see it here i've got an extra one let me show you my extra one so just using a piece of white cardstock i've punched it out then i'm going to use this i've used this to position where the stamps are going to go in the stamparata so they fit exactly into my template i'm going to ink those up whip away my template and stamp then on the white card underneath just okay let's get, well, let's give it a go there we are So, I'm going to whip away my template without moving my bottom sheet. As it is, my incredibly strong magnet is keeping that in place. I'm going to stamp those down. Just You can see when the ink connects with the paper. So I'm, just, I'm not pressing too hard, but I am giving it a little bit of pressure. And there's my vases. I'm just going to cover this up because, as I say all the time, I have got a habit of laying something in it. So then, you go into, put it into your punch. Just line them up. And, punch it down. And there are my little vases. I'm going to put those safe now before I lose them. Just putting those in there. 
and what i've actually done i love the way with this stamping platform that you can pull it out and maneuver it around because what i've actually got here are is going to be the little shelf and my sentiment so i'm going to bring in my piece of whisper white and i need to work out the other great thing about this is that you can move this around so i'm just trying to think now i might need it down slightly and then i can just move my cardstock over and across now you actually have might need to just just a little bit of fiddling around that's all we need you actually have two of these clear platforms so you could if you want to you could line up all the stamps you're going to use on your project and it would save you so much time the biggest word of warning i there's actually two magnets the other one's still at the base do not touch your magnets together because trying to separate them is not an easy task and they will snap and try not to catch your fingers between them because they give a little bit of a vicious bite i speak from experience there so now there we go i'm just doing my little shelf and my sentiment and because it's on here, I got something on. I'm going to stamp that again because, as you can see, it looks like the shelf has had a little bit of woodworm. Just up here. There we are. I'm just going to stamp it back down again. There we go. My stamp, my shelf also looks like it's been put up with somebody that doesn't see very straight, which is probably me. What I'm going to do now, I'm just take these stamps off because I'm going to use this again in a second. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I sound like a barking dog at the moment. So I shall put those. Be careful with these thin polymer stamps because you could easily um, break them as you're pulling them off the thing. Now, these little post-it notes vases are going to be the next step. Right, so let's put that back in there, out of the way. The next thing I'm going to do then is match up my little flowers where I want them. And that's where my little post-it note vases are going to come in handy because I want to roughly see where to stamp the flowers so that they've got enough space that um, that makes very little sense at the moment even i'm confused by myself so i'll show you what i mean this one has lost a bit of a sticky so i'm just going to put a little tiny bit of this on there and just i didn't do any good whatsoever there we go and again I'll put that one by there it just helps me position where my little stems are going to go so this one i'm going to put i want that one to go down the end so as you can see i just need to move my little vases along the line because otherwise it'll be hanging off my card so that one's going to go there and i can take these away then because um, obviously the vase is going on top of it, so I've got to mask anything. Then, my little bunch here will fit nicely there. That's okay. And then, my last but not least, I'm going to put this one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to stamp it all in green, but then... See, I know as you can see, I need to move this vase along a bit. So it just helps you to line them up. So there's leaving space between them. There we are. I'll whip that out from underneath there now. 
and then with these little things to save me making them each time I put them back in the stamp set okay so now that's keeping that in place I'm going to press it down to pick up my clear stamps there we go just put the other oh we must be still in the bag I I am so paranoid about getting them caught that I even try and store them separately. So I'm going to give them all a bit of a stamp with Granny Apple Green. And then I'm going to stamp that down. Like this. There we go. Oh, I'll just... But even though it's going to be covered, there we are. Right, so. That's that done. Next job now is to stamp in the filler colour. And for that I'm just going to use my block. So I'm going to have this little one. The nice thing is again, because they are polymer, they are the clear polymer stamps. You can see where you're positioning it. There we are. There's that one. I've got a few little dots on this one, so it wasn't the best example of stamping I've ever done. Just put that there for now. I'm going to do this one in Flirty Flamingo. Let's try and do a better job of stamping this one. Boom, straight in the centre there. And one more, which is going to be Daffodil Delight. That's going to go on there. Then, easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm going to stick this onto my gingham paper. Oh, well, once again, of course, my tape would run out. Right, let's bring in a bit of double-sided tape. And as I'd say on Blue Peter, that's what you get when you're working live, isn't it? There we go. So as I say, this is a lovely punch and stamp set. And the nice thing is... By bringing out another coordinating stamp set, you get even more use out of your punch. So I'm just putting that on there. And the last but not least, I'm going to put some little foam pads on my vases. And Bob's your uncle. Is all done. So I had this one here. Like this. So like this. And that one. There. And there we go. All done. Nice, quick and simple card. And it says you are simply the best. And this goes out to all of my subscribers because I had a little happy dance in the kitchen this morning to find out that I've finally reached 300 subscribers. Whoop, whoop how exciting i was so delighted with that so thank you to each and every one of you and thank you for joining me this morning i say this morning i'm filming it obviously monday night ready for tuesday morning and once again i've been using vibrant vases no varied vases and the new one is vibrant vases with the punch and i've also been getting a lot of use out of my stamparitas stamparatus if you haven't got a demonstrator but are interested in ordering any of these items, here is my selling page. Thank you so much for watching. Hail Vow and I'll see you Friday. Bye.